New series on Weekend Warriors. The new hotness is here. It's Samurai Showdown. SNK is little baby jewel that they've been cultivating over the years. And then they tucked it in and went nine nine for a while. And now it's back in all of its, uh, you know, modern glory. I'm Brett. I'm one of the Weekend Warriors. And this is me. I'm Greg. That's the other guy. <laughs> I'm the other guy. We're both here. We're going to play some Samurai Showdown, baby. Uh, and uh, we're going to do something a little bit different with this series. But the first thing we're going to do is uh, help familiarize myself and Greg and probably a lot of you at home about like how this fucking game works. To some extent, refamiliarize ourselves, right? How yeah, much I mean, of it I, I went through? through. I've been playing this a little bit. Yeah. I probably have, I don't know, maybe 11 hours in this game total. So not much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and yeah, I played some Samurai Showdown back in the day, but like only when I had like a quarter left and the sure. Neo Geo machine was open. You know what I mean? It was, it's never been my series. Sure. <laughs> that being said, that's why I'm so excited about it because it's basically fresh for me. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure it's fresh for you too. It is, yeah. And like I said, for a lot of you at home, this is probably maybe your first foray into this series and it's really cool. So uh, it's got this, uh, let's see, is it practice? Yeah, practice and tutorial. It's got a tutorial and it's not that robust. Uh, but we're, uh, and it doesn't take that long, but we're going to do it because there are some very interesting systems here. Now, Greg, you know nothing about Samurai Showdown, right? Very little. Maybe some will come back to me. I feel like I played it a long time ago. Understand, understand this, though. The first thing you have to understand about this game is, like, the, the, I'd say the main word that describes this game is commitment. Okay. Keep that in mind, okay? Okay. So check it out. <clears throat> you, uh, you walk forward. <laughs> right? You walk back pretty easy peasy. But uh, notice something about the walking. It's pretty slow. Okay. This isn't that game where people are like like walking each other down that hard. You know what I mean? This isn't Ninja Showdown. No. This is Samurai Show with heavy ass armor and swords and shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just like, you know, traditional 2D fighters. You hold back to block, hold down back to block low. Okay. Kind of thing. I like that. There are, however, uh, dashes. Right? Okay. So we got these, like, this really fucking slow walk speeds, right? Sure. Really slow. But <laughs> you oh. got that. Matter of fact, let me show you this. You, that's a run. You can run in this game. Just so you know. Check it out. So if you run, you get next to your opponent. You just double tap and hold, they'll run. Okay. Right? Okay. So you can kind of, like, dash or run. Like, you double tap, and they'll do a dash. All but right. if you hold it, they'll run. Okay. And just so you know, they automatically stop when they get next to somebody. Which okay. Which is pretty important for later on. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yeah, you can kind of close distance on people, but of course, this is commitment. So when you do that, it takes a while to recover. Mm, you know? Okay. Back dashes, of course. Oh yeah. Uh uh huh uh huh. Any questions so far, Greg? No. Pretty standard so far, right? Yes. I want you to let me know the moment they're like you're like, hold on, <laughs> like something I don't understand what's going on, or this seems different or interesting. Okay. So far, it seems pretty routine. It is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You can jump. You know what's very interesting, actually? You know how you can, like... Uh, you know how you can, I think they might be going over right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can perform another quick jump after landing the previous jump, if timed correctly. Okay. Does that sound interesting to you yet, or no? Possibly. So you know how in like, <laughs> almost every in other action. fighting game, if you hold straight up, they'll do this, this right? The, yeah, yeah. This they'll I'm just keep jumping with. over and over, right? Sure. But do you see how, like... Check like the the recovery frames on that jump before he jumps again, right? Mm-hmm. Now watch this. Did you see that? Uh I got rid of the recovery frames. And can you do that looped or no? Yeah, I'll show you right now when we get into the next one. What is this about? Uh mobile wake up. Oh man. Okay, is he gonna knock me down? Hold on, let me try and get away from him. Check this out. You see how I'm like cutting out the recovery frames? Uh-huh. That's me. I'm gonna pause real quick. That's me timing up. As soon as I land. Wow. So whereas almost every other fighting game, if you just hold up, you'll like jump as soon as possible. In this game, it requires you like, no, don't spam jump. And if you really want to, you better be on your timing. Wow. What does that tell you? Agility. What does that tell you about what the game The wants? game demands that, the game demands precision. Okay. All right. I'll take that. So this is pretty easy. Uh, man, I was playing Mortal Kombat recently. 
and like doing wake up rolls requires really precise timing. Thankfully in this game, you can literally just hold the motherfucker as you're getting up and you'll do a wake up roll. As you can see, very useful for getting out of the corner, for getting out of like fucked up wake up situations. You can also, also roll back. Uh, very useful stuff. Cool. Very useful stuff. Okay. I've used wake up rolls in this game before like to create distance and also to close distance on someone while I'm waking up because they're still trying to zone me out. Is there a time when you shouldn't use a wake up roll? Sure, if you want to maintain your spacing or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're blocking. Hold back to block. Easy sneezy. Mm -hmm. How's seen. that guy with the NASCAR flag supposed to declare the winner if he can't see anything, Brett? Uh, you use your your mind's eye when it comes to refereeing mm. samurai battles. Mm. You got low blocks, <laughs> low attacks. Good job of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy peasy. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get to the wacky stuff soon. Just defense. Great. Guard against an opponent's attack just before it lands. Special effect indicates when it's been done correctly. Like a parry? Kind of, but instead of pressing forward in Street Fighter 3, that's probably what you're thinking of. You press back the moment it, it hits. Okay. I'll show you a regular block first. Okay. Right? See the red sparks? I like that. All right. I'm going to show you cool. the other one right now. Oh, that motherfucker was too close. Hold on. See the blue? Mm. Hear the sound effect? Yes. Okay. Successful just defense does three things. Number one, it fills my gauge with a little bit at the bottom. Okay. Two, it ignores damage taken from the ignores damage taken from the just defense. Yeah. So like, um, you if you just defend, no chip damage from stuff. So again, the game is rewarding you for precision. Yep. Lastly, stance break is possible. They're probably gonna teach us about stance break. Basically, when you just defend somebody, you can do a move uh, that like you can only do out of just defense. Okay. Cool. Called stance break. Cool. Yeah, the moment you need to break their stance, check it out. Look at the damage! I'm starting over, hold on. Oh. Okay, so my timing's off. Got him. Nice. So, put this between you and your opponent. Yeah, so that's like, you can only do that while blocking, which is very reminiscent of like techniques in a lot of other fighting games, push block, Alpha counters, stuff like that. Uh huh. But once again, you can only do this if your precision is tight. Okay. And what did you do just there to to land a blow after the? Uh... It's literally like you press. I pressed R one. Like you just defend R one. Just defend R one. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So here's the same button R one. Uh, you can dodge. It's like a spot dodge. Mm. Basically, I like immediate iframes that you have to time very very well. Oh yeah. Wow. That was cool. After performing dodge, you'll be invulnerable to being hit or thrown. Mm -hmm. And what's what's the recovery on that? Like, it seems like you have advantage if after you spot dodge. Well, it all depends, right? Like, let's say I spot dodge somebody's, like, quick kick attack. They might recover before me. Uh -huh. But if I spot dodge their huge, slow sword swipe, then I'll probably have advantage. I see. It all depends. I see. Which is probably why you wouldn't want to spot dodge something quick, like just take the block. But if they're being obvious and slow, maybe. Okay. Uh, counter in time with the opponent's weapon attack to counter it and disarm them. Yeah. So uh, we're talking about all of this is defensive techniques, right? We went over blocks, which you get. Just defense makes sense, right? Yeah. Spot dodge makes sense. Yeah. This is if you, this counter is really if you think you know your opponent's patterns and timing. Okay. Hadoken with R1. Check it out. <laughs> that disarms them. Wow. Only possible when wielding a weapon. So you can only do it when you have your weapon on you. Uh-huh. Jump attacks cannot be countered. Uh, I don't know if you can counter, like, uh, crouching attacks from people. I don't know. Maybe, because they're not talking about it. Uh, but, let, yeah, look at this. This is this is for her. This is a huge. This is huge in this game, right? If, if you don't have your sword up. This seems, seems to me as, like, a wider range of uh, defensive options. Then... Well, than what I'm used to, which what is essentially to? very, <laughs> very little. Right, right. Yeah, like, I, can, like, I know that I don't I can know if block. it's a wider range of defensive options. Like, I, I don't know about that, but I mean, you're certainly just being made aware of them right now. Yeah. Right? Uh, I but, mean, would you would you call this common the the amount of the optionality that you have? Depending on the game, sure. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Uh, so yeah, that deflect obviously. So let's let's see if if you're understanding what's going on. The pros are obvious with that. Um, Deflect, right? Right. What is the con? Did you recognize it? And it was quick. I don't know if you did. Well, what you said is that you really have to know your opponent to pull it off. So True. I'm guessing that there's some that there there's either a directional component or a timing component. Where I mean, you certainly do have to time it. Yeah. 
so, such that if they're attacking with a move that you don't accurately predict, it won't work. True, but also if you throw out that deflect and you know your timing's off, you're left wide open. The recovery is huge. Got it. So here's the antithesis of that. Let's say that you're the one who's disarmed and they have their weapon up. <clears throat> if you don't, ha you it's the exact same motion. If you perform Hadoken with, for us, it's R1 in time with their shit, you will disarm them. Let's see if I can pull it off. Woo! Woo! So apparently I can't. So this is the same, but if you have no weapon. Right. See how I did it too early? Did you see that? Yeah. It takes precision timing. Oh my timing. gosh, that's intense. That's very cool. Only possible when fighting barehanded. They cannot be used to counter jump attacks. It makes sense. So when you are disarmed, you have options, but they're, those options are far less than when you have your regular weapon. Yeah. Oh yeah, this rarely happens. Two fighters perform a weapon attack at once, repeatedly tap buttons. Yeah, okay. I've only had that happen once in a match. Uh huh. That's <laughs> I, like the class. That's like the quintessential samurai showdown moment we all remember from the sure. game. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it really just happens when like two weapon attacks, active frames happen at the exact same time. Okay. Which is very rare, which is why I haven't seen it. And so uh, what you're just ma you're just mashing until you until someone disarms the other uh -huh, person. Okay. Uh, here are the criteria. <laughs> there must be at least 16 seconds remaining. Okay. Both opponents have at least that much life. Only one sword clash per round. Okay. No wonder it's so rare. There's a lot of conditions to it. All right, you ready for the attacks? Yeah. Uh, this is a three-button fighter. Okay. Light, medium, and heavy, or A, B, C, whatever. Okay. Uh, uh huh. So this is also something you should understand about this game. This this game actually uses a somewhat now archaic mechanic called proximity normals. Do you remember proximity normals? No. So you remember how in Street Fighter, like, depending on how close or far you are from your opponent, like, Ryu would do, like, a different punch with the same button? Okay, sure. That's the same thing here. So, like, a lot of people in this game, most characters have, like, two different light punches or A's, if you will, like, the far one and the close one. Oh, wow, okay. Just got to be aware of that. Okay. Uh, of course, they both have their pros and cons. The close ones are usually faster, but they're not canceled. Uh, but uh, they're usually faster. They don't reach as far. The far ones... Or usually, you know, they reach far, but they can't cancel. You know what I mean? That yeah. kind of stuff. So there's a close version of light and a... And yeah, a so this is like far A, and then check out far, close A. Okay. It's close like a little a. elbow jab. Okay, cool. I dig it. For this guy. Yeah. That fucking, look how slow that medium is. Look at that. But the range is there. You feel me? Yeah. And then, of course, the close one. Very different, right? Yeah. C, oh my god, like all the wind up in the world, you feel me? Yeah, must do a lot of damage. Yeah, it does get damage. But uh, you really have to think of these moves as totally different moves, actually. <laughs> what? Okay. What are you laughing at? I'm just, I just, I just like you. I just like how you said that. Okay. I found it funny. Okay. You really have to think of them as totally different moves. Like far A and close A, totally different moves. Treat them as such. Uh huh. Like in a modern game, well, this is a modern game, but. In one that has uh, that has less reverence for the past, uh, all these proximity normals would probably just be command normals, where you press like forward and A and something different. Will come sure, in, you okay. Know? You can attack your opponent while crouching and jumping. Heavy slashes leave you open for longer, but deal greater damage. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh huh. <clears throat> also, yeah. So you can still attack while you have <laughs> no weapon. I think it's all the same. Yeah, it's all the same punch. Okay. When you don't have it. Matter of fact, when you're close, it's the same. Like, so those six different things that we just had, we replaced by one terrible thing. Okay. Press, uh, oh, yeah, but you, yeah, you could press the, the A when you're standing over your weapon to pick it back up. Okay. Long recovery on that, though. So it's not free. In fact, Long I, don't think I've, I don't think I've ever let somebody pick up their weapon without me hitting it. Long recovery on picking it up? Yeah. Got it. There's also kicks. Uh, so yeah, they have a bunch of different kicks. Kicks too? All right. Mm -hmm. And by a bunch of different kicks, I mean one button, but like, there are a lot of command kicks. So yeah, standing K. Easy. Are they going to do the others? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then forward K is usually a low. Mm. Usually. Uh-huh. 
Okay, and then down forward K? Yeah, that's the one. Those are the sweeps. Nice. You got a little slide. Nice. That's four different kicks, and they all have their different, you know, shits. All right. Kick attacks make up for their lack of power and speed. Mm -hmm. If your opponent is relying on heavily on weapon attacks, or finding opening with a kick attack. Makes sense. They're usually very fast okay. in this game with very, very slow normals. You know, commitment and shit. But, like, I think that's really good advice. The kicks don't do any fucking damage, right? But they are there for when someone's doing brain dead stupid shit. Mm -hmm. You just want to, like, stop. It is not your turn. It is my turn. I see. Okay, cool. Attack while stepping forward. Yes! There are running attacks in this game. Attacks you can only do while out of run. Yeah. And they're different. There's three of them. A, B, and C, right? So, yeah. look. His running A is that, like, bullshit yeah. punch. Okay. See that? I'm armed, but I'm doing the punch. Because uh -huh. I'm doing forward, forward, A. And then anytime during that run, you can cancel it into uh, the attack. Okay. Anytime. Yeah. Except for when you're right next to them, because that'll stop the run. So you have to do it a little bit before you get to them. Okay. See that? Yeah. So, like, you know, forward, forward, A. His Seems forward, kind of lame. It's kind of lame. That you would run at someone with a sword and then just punch them? <laughs> it has its... Every every move has its uses. Okay. The, the idea is to try and figure out when and what that is. Okay. One second, guys. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Dashing B. Look at that. Do you see the significance of that attack? No. Okay. I mean, I, let me show it, you this. It looks cooler than the punch. <laughs> this is his standing B. This is his running B. Uh -huh. You recognize something? No, it seems faster. So this is his close B. Ah, uh, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So his running B is the same animation as his close B. Okay. That's just something to note because it makes you go, okay, like, does it have the exact same properties as standing or a close B? Uh -huh. That kind of shit. You okay. have to start look, uh, asking yourselves those types of questions. Okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, like, this is good to know because now you know running B doesn't have quite the, the range of this, but it's certainly faster. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can see myself using that. And of course... Yeah, give me the good one. Running oh, C. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't think... Yeah, that's... There it is. That's... So, this is crouching C. We never went over his crouching moves. This is crouching C. His running C, same as crouching C. Love it. That's what I'm looking for. But, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if you noticed that. You remember how I said they're completely different moves? So, this is crouching C. Look at this. See what happens to him? Like, he gets hit and gets knocked back. Yeah. Does not knock down, though. Watch this. Does knock down, Different though. move. Looks the same. Very different move. I see. Okay. Advancing kick. Oh, yeah. Always use this. If someone is, like, walking away from you from far away and they're not watching their legs, all day. Where do you think you're going? When barehanded, you can still perform an advancing attack, but note that there are two sets of L, M, and H attacks. One for fists and one for kicks. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. It's called guard break, but it's a fucking throw. Right? Check this out. That's a throw in this game. Interesting. Everybody's throws like that. Okay. Look at how much damage it does. Zero damage. Zero. Okay. Why do you think that is? Well, they didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, they're still right there. Uh, you just jostled him a little bit. It's more to irritate your opponent. Okay, I'll show you exactly why they are the way that they are. It's the equivalent of a taunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. This is why th this is the way it is. So you get no damage off of throws, but you can't do this. I see. So it opens him up a little bit? Yeah, you can combo after it. All right. Not Obviously not everything combos. What's he trying to do? Maybe he's getting all tight. He's trying to block you. No, no, no. You just push his shoulder. Now you strike him. Exactly. All right. Matter of fact, check this out. Look how much damage this uh, far B does. Okay, I want you to notice. His life bar goes between the E and the N in Genjiro, right? Watch okay. it again. Watch it again. Between the E and the N, right? Yeah. Now watch it after the throw. Oh! Between the N and the J. Less damage, right? Uh, okay. After you open somebody up with a throw, any attack that you do is mitigated damage-wise. Okay. Makes sense. So damage you, scale. All right. So, all right. So you're able to land the strike, but it's just not going to do as much damage. Precisely. Okay. And a lot of different characters have a lot of different shit after throw. That's like something that, like, one of the first things that I look for in training mode when I'm learning a new character in this game is like, what's the what's the most damage they can do off of a throw? Okay. So this guy. My <laughs> goodness, but that looked spectacular, but we still only got between the N and the J. Exactly, so you may as well just do this. That being said, if you want the knockdown, 
you can man get give that. me more of those wait what are you doing to make all the it's just pretty a special, colors special on the screen mo- okay yeah we'll get there all right Shh. make more pretty shit yeah make more pretty shit do you have any questions so far no no what does that tell you what does that tell you <laughs> the, the fact that there's like the throws are like this in the game what does that tell you about this game I mean, that's got to be uncommon. I've never seen that before in my six game experience. Um, I, I'm not sure, Brett. I, again, I think that they're trying to prompt you to to think to think very carefully about what you're doing, mm. and they're not going to reward you heavily for mindless nonsense. Yeah, I think you're on the right track. I think what this game is doing is saying that, like, good, you have identified that your opponent is being defensive, and you have successfully thrown them, but. More still required of <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. Yeah. Very withholding. Very withholding damage. Uh, this says surprise attack, but all it really means is it's it's the game's universal overhead. Everybody has an overhead that they can perform by just pressing these two buttons. Okay. And his is like the fucking Ryu love overhead it. Oh, punch. I love that punch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's an overhead. Everybody has... There are some moves that are like overheads, like special moves and other stuff, but he has like a natural... Or everybody has a universal. Okay. Special move. Easy peasy, right? So here's what this guy's got. He's got a Shoryuken. Okay. A, B, and C of varying like heights and uh, so horizontal that, distances. So that C is going to be the, the highest and longest. Yeah, okay. exactly. Cool. And, wow. Uh, oh, we're going. We're doing them all. Yeah. Off so screen. for this guy, this guy is like, I mean, based on his special moves, I bet you can figure out exactly what his kind of role is in the game. So he's got these SRKs. They are invincible. Uh, let's see what else he's got. He's his owner. Oh wait. Maybe they're not going to take us through a special moves. Great, that's fine. Rage gauge, yeah, the, the gauge, right? So the the meter down there. Yep. Fills. It says it fills every time you take a hit. Filling up the rage gauge puts you in max rage state. Uh huh. Okay. So I, we're going to hit this guy to put him into max rage state. Boom. So you see how like the flames in the bottom right? He's popping off. Yeah. Your attack power is greatly increased when at max rage. Right. What enemy attacks? He's so sparking like a firework over there. But that's the only difference, really, is that your attacks will do more damage okay. while you're in max rage. Okay. There are some other differences, though. Like, certain characters have <clears throat> special moves that change properties when they're in max rage. Not everybody. So forgive the noob question, but the rage gauge, that, that fills up when, you, when you're blocking or getting hit or both? When you get hit. Yeah, it doesn't reward you for blocking. It's only for so it's just a way of evening the, the scales a little bit. Maybe but remember, just defense also fills it up as well. So if you're precise, you can get it up. Got it. Uh, all right. So here's rage explosion. This shit is fucking wacky. Okay. Rage explosion. Okay. You press all three buttons. And it said, okay. Here's the really important part. You get put into this mode if you do this. Wow. It changes the background. And I want you to notice. Look at the bottom. You see the, the uh, my my meter is now like this flaming bar. Yeah, the, it's paused right now because we're in like training mode and shit. But that yeah. goes down naturally sure. over time. Yeah, like a fuse. And the yeah exactly, and that fuse is longer the more meter you have when you pop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if your rage is full, that thing's gonna last for quite a while. So this is we're in rage explosion right now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and so when you're rage explosion, the reason why it's really <laughs> funky, dude, is you can perform it while in hit stuff. Okay. You know what that means? No. Oh, no, yes, that you haven't. That you're in the midst of recovering from a move, and you can change to this state. No, no, no. You're in hit stun, not your opponent. You're in hit stun. You can perform it. Uh huh. As in, you're getting hit. You can just do it. Oh, that's what I thought I was. Trying oh, my to bad, describe. my bad, my bad. Okay. You're so you're trying to recover. Is it accurate to say you're trying to recover from? You're you're still actively recovering, being locked up from being hit, and you do this. Yeah, you can do that. It, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if okay, somebody's cool. hitting you and you're in the fucking nice. Getting hit animation, you can just do this. All right. At any time. That's very cool. Here's the thing. You can only do it once per match. Per match. Okay. <laughs> so when you're doing it, you are stronger. Uh, you have access to... You have access to two types of super moves. The timer, as it says, the timer goes away. And when the rage explosion like is over, your meter is gone for the rest of the match. You have no meter. Wow, this better be good. Exactly. But it is. You have access to two super moves. So here's the first one, right? You have access to two super moves you do not otherwise have access to? Well, let's talk about this first one, which is called the weapon flipping technique. This is kind of like the most common super move. Okay. 
all you it's just a Hadoken with with two and three. Okay. Or B and C, whatever, and you can only do it when your shit is full. Or when you're in rage explosion. Make sense? Okay. Check this out. So I'm gonna back up so you can see it. <laughs> so that's his super. My goodness. Just so you know, if you whiff this, you can just keep doing it. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, until your rage goes away naturally over time. Oh wow. Yeah. But it's punishable, you know, so you don't just want to throw it out. But if it does hit, check it out. Big damage and watch your dude. Weapon gone. All right. It's a very, it's like the way to disarm your opponent. It's like the next level of knockdown. You haven't just knocked them down. You've also simultaneously knocked the weapon out of their hands. Yeah, and you've done a lot of damage too. All right. But if you hit this, like your rage will go away. Like, sure. It empties. It feels good. Uh, <laughs> it feels good to see your, your opponent flip across the room, land without his weapon. Yeah. No more rage. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're sated. <laughs> so this is the fucking lightning blade, a.k.a. Eason. This is the one you can only do it. when in ex the explosion. This shit is stupid. All right. This shit is basically a full screen. It's a full screen, very fast attack that does massive damage. Watch this. The more meter you have in your fuse from Rage Explosion, wow. the more damage that does. We're talking upwards of like 70%, maybe more. Okay. Is there any, what can they do? It seemed like the lights went out. He had no options. He had no recourse. <laughs> Just block and punish it. He can, so he can block that. Oh yeah. You can block all this shit. All right. It's, but it's, you know, it's a once per match for free. You can do it whenever. I've seen people open matches with this shit. Wow. Okay. It's damage determined by how much we, right, right, we went over that. But there's a disadvantage to opening a match with it, right? Because you may or may not have much rage gauge. Yeah, precisely. Or, like, once you use it, whether you hit or not, it's gone for the rest of the match. You're okay. absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and finally, it's like the big super. You can do this at any time. No meter required or anything. You can do this at any time. But once again, if you hit or whiff or it's blocked, you can literally only do this once per match. This is the shit that's going to it. If you if you land this thing, it's over. Look at the damage. What is that? Seventy five, something like that. Wow. Okay. Uh, they may be uh, super powerful, but they can only be used once. Choose where and when. Yeah, makes sense. So there's a lot of like, I don't know if you noticed this, but like the supers are very, <clears throat> the supers are very fluid. And that you don't always have to be super full with your super in order to use it every time. Like, you can activate Rage Explosion whenever. You can activate the big super whenever. Uh, there's a lot of higher risk, though, if you do that, because it's over. A.K.A., you know, commitment, what we were talking about. I see. And I know we didn't really get to a lot of it because we didn't, like, press buttons a lot. But understand that, like, that philosophy applies to the whole game. Not just the big supers, not just the flashy stuff and special moves, but also just normals and walking. Everything is a commitment. If somebody does standing C, like a big heavy attack, and they get blocked, they're gonna get fucked probably. You feel me? Doesn't seem like a game for button mashers. Precisely. And you you say that, but it still happens. And it's fun when you recognize that's what someone's doing. You're like, oh, okay, I can stop that. We'll, we might see some stuff like that next time. So here's what we're doing with the series, guys. Samurai Showdown, we're going to be taking a look at like characters one by one, character by character, episode by episode. I don't know if we're going to do every single character, but uh, we're certainly going to do a couple. And uh, I'm going to take them online and fight some ranked matches while Greg observes and tries to figure out exactly what these characters are capable of mid-match and what kind of character they are. My greatest challenge yet. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're going to be starting with uh, the, that guy that we were just using, Haomaru. We're going to pick him first next time on Weekend Warriors. We hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys stick around, have a good time, and learn with us. Uh, we'll see you guys there. See you then. Vocal strike. Vocal strike. That's good. <laughs>